Hi guys, my name is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your laptop hard drive to an SSD without reinstalling Windows or losing your data. This will also work for you if you want to clone your operating system from one hard drive to another. So first, here are the tools we'll be using for this process. A Phillips head screwdriver or a torque screwdriver depending on the type of screw you have on your laptop hard drive cover. A USB SATA adapter cable like this one. And of course your SSD, it doesn't matter what brand you are using. So first we are going to download a free OS migration tool. Of course there are several of them online but for this tutorial I will be using the mini tool partition wizard. I find it quite convenient and easy to use. So you go to your browser and search mini tool partition wizard. Then click on the first link from the search results. I will also add a link in the description section. On this page, click on download and wait for the download to complete. Then run the installation file by double clicking. Here you select your preferred language and hit OK. Accept the license terms and hit next. 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 Here you can choose whether or not you want to create a desktop shortcut. Then hit next and install. Now before the next step, connect your SSD to your laptop using the USB SATA adapter cable. Now on this page you want to choose Mini Tool Partition Wizard Free. Then it will take you to this Partition Wizard page. Here you would find a list of all the drives you have currently attached to your PC in a numerical order. Usually this one is your drive C from where you run your main operating system. Then the other drives could be your secondary hard drives or any other drives you have attached to your USB ports. It also shows some more detailed information about each disk, the partitions, the capacity and the used and unused space and all that. Now below the main menu you would find these four options. One says migrate OS to SSD or HD, the other says copy partition copy disk and then partition recovery. Here we are going to choose migrate OS to SSD or HD. Then on this next window it gives you two migration options. The first option allows you to copy your operating system as well as your disk partitions from your hard drive to your SSD while the second option allows you to move only the partition with your operating system to your SSD or some other hard disk. Let me explain this one in a little more detail. This first option offers you a total migration of your Windows operating system together with all your applications, personal files and folders, system files as well as your Windows settings to your SSD or your new hard disk. So this will be the option if you are replacing your hard drive with an SSD like we are doing in this tutorial. The second option allows you to migrate only your operating system to your SSD, leaving your applications and personal files on your hard drive after the migration. This would be a suitable option if you would be combining your hard drive with an SSD on the same laptop. So that way you can use your hard drive for storage and run your operating system from the SSD. This will certainly boost your system performance and offer you a larger storage capacity using the more affordable hard drive option. However, when running applications that require some heavy files from your hard drive, then you may not get that optimal performance you would normally get if you had your files on the SSD. This is typical with video encoding. So if for instance you have your Premiere Pro running on your SSD and you have all your video clips on the hard drive, then it will certainly take longer time to compile your video than it would if you had your video clips on the SSD as well. With that said, here I'm going to choose the first option and hit next. Then it asks me for the destination drive, which in this case is my SSD. Here you would ensure your SSD has enough space. If, if the space is too low, like what I have on my SanDisk USB, it will tell me that the specific disk is too small. 
So here I will choose the SSD and hit next. Then it reminds me that all the data on the disk will be destroyed. Are you sure you want to continue? I will hit yes. Here it shows a summary of the selections I've made. So I chose to fit partition to the entire disk. I'm cloning to disk 2 which is my SSD. And for partitions, you may choose to create multiple partitions to suit your needs. But here I will leave mine as a single partition and hit next. It then informs me to configure my BIOS to boot from the destination disk when next I boot up. I will explain this in more details later, but for now I'm going to hit finish. And then it returns me to this main page where I will now hit apply. And a note pops up recommending that I close all applications before applying the changes. So I close down my applications and hit OK to start the migration process. Now if you get past this stage, then just wait for the migration process to run as supposed. However, oftentimes you will get this notice saying the operation copy partition cannot be completed because drive C is being used now. It's okay to get this notice, it's mainly because some background processes running on your laptop makes your drive C appear too busy for the process. So it offers you three options. You either restart, retry or cancel the process. Here I will choose to restart now and then wait for the partition wizard to automatically perform the migration process upon restarting. This process will take a while depending on the amount of data you have on your hard disk and also the performance of your laptop. With higher performance laptop, in terms of your processor and RAM, this process could be a lot faster. Also, if you have an eSATA port like this one on your laptop, then you should definitely use it. It will fasten the process significantly. And of course, if you don't have it, you can use either USB 3.0 or 2.0. Of course, the 3.0 is faster than 2.0, so you should try to optimize. So here, I would fast forward this part of the video. Okay, so the migration process is now complete. We will now proceed to the final process which is the actual swapping of the hard drive with the SSD. But before we proceed with that, here are some few important warnings. First, we had a note to configure the BIOS to boot from the destination disk when next we boot up. Here is what that implies. Most likely your default BIOS settings is to boot from your main drive which is your drive C. So if you are replacing your hard disk with an SSD, as I will be doing in a moment, then you don't have to change your BIOS settings. It will automatically boot from the drive it finds attached to your main disk connector. The second thing is the issue of activation or Windows license. First, let's understand what the disk migration process implies. It basically means you have successfully copied your Windows to another drive. So you have the same copy of Windows on two separate drives, both activated with the same digital license. As you can see in this case, if we go to check the activation status of the Windows on our main hard disk, It says here that Windows is activated with digital license. Now after I swap the SSD, we will see that the copy of Windows on the SSD is equally activated with the same digital license. However, this does not imply that you can run the two copies of Windows on two separate machines. They might run successfully, however, your Windows license is attached to your laptop. So attaching any of the two drives to some other laptop would violate the license terms of your Windows. Hence, you would end up with an unlicensed Windows. You might even lose the license on your main laptop if you use your drive on another laptop and return it back to your laptop. So to preserve your Windows license, only run these drives on your main laptop. With that said, let's go ahead and swap our hard drive with the SSD. So first, I will shut down my laptop. Then 
Then remove the SATA adapter from my laptop and then the SSD. Now I will locate the hard drive compartment on my laptop. Most laptops would have this underneath the back cover, but sometimes it could also be underneath the keyboard. So carefully search for where yours is located. Then carefully unscrew to release the guards and then remove any other screws that might be holding the laptop hard drive. And if you have a protective cage like I have on mine, carefully observe the direction of the connectors before you unscrew it. Now I will replace the hard disk with my SSD. And now it will boot straight into the SSD. As you can see from my desktop, all files and folders are exactly as I had them on my hard disk, including my settings. I mean, even the Wi-Fi credentials were preserved. And now let's go ahead and check the activation status of our Windows. Here, as you can see, it says Windows is activated with digital license. So I have successfully migrated from a hard disk to an SSD without having to install Windows again and without losing my files nor my applications and settings. And that completes the session. I'll be making a separate video to show how you can combine an SSD with a hard disk using your optical drive compartment. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might need it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for notification on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.